Uh, yep, we should be good. Okay. You guys are defending. Yes, we so seem to be So as you know, defending. you're... You guys are going to be giving up this point pretty quickly, I assume? Yeah. You can... Um, Oh, hey, Fat. You can uh, defend this if you're able to get their sniper. Yeah. Um, yeah, you kill the sniper, then you can tank your sniper to defend Kari. Mm hmm. Yeah, beyond that, you just kind of leave pretty soon, pretty quickly. I'm just going to. Well. Yeah, I mean, like, don't really have to get too fancy with the sticky traps. But a little bit more art might be better. OK, so I like to play over here as demo. Because you can get a lot of easy spam pipes over this roof, and you can like set stickies once you've deaded your um, crit traps up on this roof to deny soldiers. Um, yeah, the rest of your combo just kind of watches for bombers, essentially. And that's generally what you guys did, but lost a little bit more than you probably want. So, but their card time's pretty bad, so it doesn't really matter too much. This demo, this opposing demo here, kind of has the right idea what you should be doing on offense. Um, I feel like it's a lot better to spam from here or just spam from under. I mean, but oh, yeah. this is also okay. Their like, demo like ended up you can't with really get a good angle. DPM, so. Oh damn. Yeah, it was like six sixty, but close. No, sorry, my, it was, mm. I think it might have been six hundred. I lied. It was it was six. It was five sixty. So basically, once the cart is here, everyone yeah, you should want be to running. Be like, yeah. It seemed like you guys left a little bit slowly, but it didn't lose anything significant. So yeah, sticky traps up here. Um, demo should definitely not be playing in this doorway. This is where your heavy pyro should be. Yeah, your pyro needs to deny this. Uh, yeah, because the pyro was not in position. He, he wasn't able to blow them back. Yeah, so but, our pyro was a ringer here. I was asking him to play forward. Mm -hmm. He said that he was having problems playing forward because he was eating too much spam when he was playing forward, which mm -hmm. he was. Uh, he did try to play forward, and he was eating a lot of spam. Mm -hmm. uh, so what did, I mean, what, what were we doing wrong that was causing that? What could we do better to try to avoid that, I guess? Uh, I think that's... Because your demo died, they were able to get a lot of easy free spam in, essentially. Like, if your demo's alive, he's probably standing here, and you just kind of arcing pipes, arcing stickies up along here. So that okay. denies the demo from doing exactly what he's doing right now. Which is spamming for free. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you said he was standing on the f should be standing on the floor. Uh, what about standing, like, on the mm -hmm. stairs, slightly so you can actually see your stickies? Is that a terrible idea because uh, of snipers? Or what? I, yeah, like, whenever I've tried it, I I tend to eat pipes so hard from this angle, and obviously Sniper can have an actual angle on you. Okay. Um, so as you saw, this this hold kind of collapsed with uh, just Their demo feeding. was spamming too much. Yeah, their, yeah. their demo got a lot of free damage. Uh, I think they used an Uber in, and you guys didn't have anything in position to, to blow them back, so... Oh, yeah. So now you're down for, I would say, be very passive here. Even though you have Uber, just be ready to run away. Like, be ready to go back into spawn. Because you don't have a gun in there. There's the Uber. Yeah. Yeah, like, when you when you see that they're Ubering in, that's when you call to leave. Like, you're, you're essentially calling, uh, we're Ubering, but we're leaving at the same time. You're, you're using the Uber to run away. Is that because we didn't have a good hold here? You're saying? Yeah, like okay. again, because like you were you were down for I think your engineer was dead. You guys didn't have a gun up, 
So like there, there was no defensive position and they're, they're going to come in strong and that's exactly what they did. Oh yeah. So again, you guys got rolled. So this is also going to be kind of a passive hold, but it's a little bit more defensible because the track is so long. Yeah. So you can kind of play it passive, wait for spawners, and then kind of retake this upper area. Yeah, my team was having trouble getting out of the ramp area. They were tending to sit there and just eat a lot of spam. Mm hmm. Yep, that's what it looks like. Oh, no. Yeah. There's also no gun. So, is the correct thing to do there is just be even more passive and not be on the ramp? Or is it to try to have everybody break out of the ramp and stop sitting there and eating spam? Um, so I would say that you're probably going to have to play passive and they're going to be putting out a lot of spam on you, but you, you have your demo coming up, so you should probably be tanking your demo and trying to get as much damage as you can. If your demo is able to get significant damage, then he should be calling that and, you know, depending on the amount of damage, if there's any frags, et cetera, then you guys can try to like do an actual repush like we're all going to be retaking upper area in five that kind of thing okay um yeah and your sniper should probably not be here he should probably be playing through one way um just to give you guys some coverage instead of just walking out into what you know there's probably a sniper down on the tracks uh at that point so uh and then yeah like you guys didn't have a gun up so that you know, their bombers are able to get in pretty much for free. Uh, you as Heavy and, and Pyro can only do so much. Um, so, yeah, like, you, you need to have, like, a very uh, coordinated coordinated counter push to, to retake this position. Um, oh, yeah. It is it is very doable, again, because that, that car path is so long. Yeah. So and any sort of significant frags, and they're going to probably back off because they're going to be so overextended. Yeah, um, I mean, so if the space is free, though, you can just walk back out, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, obviously, again, be aware of snipers, because this is such a huge open point. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, that you're, you're pretty much safe. Um, this sentry is very inspired. I don't think it, it'll work. Um, especially now. But, like, e even if you had the rest of your team up, it's so far away from the rest of your team. It, any spy or a soldier bombing it or anything like that's gonna gonna wipe it out. I think the so. goal there is just funny sentry. True, yes, but if you want to win, funny strats. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not so funny, unfortunate. So. Even if you're getting rolled on fourth, which is kind of what happened, you can fairly easily set up on last because of how tight it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're you're heavy here. If you're if you're playing here as heavy, you need to be basically be beamed because you can get deleted so fast. I mean, even without an Uber, you can get deleted. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Their demo um, heavy focused me, and I died. Mm hmm Yeah. So your your medic and pyro should be playing over here. And your pyro should be like ready to air blast them back in from there. That that very easily destroys that entire Uber. Yeah. Um, your okay. demo should be playing like from on top of this thing. Uh, there's there's very few sniper sight lines to to take you out as demo from on top of this pole. Um, sentry should be up here or over here. Sometimes this is kind of viable. I don't really like it, but. It is viable. Um, yeah, and, and also, this is huge. Like, your flank actually controlling this left passageway. My team has gotten rolled oh. a number of times because... Whenever I because play flank they're... on this map, uh, I like to play... I don't know what the, the... the I don't know what it's called. The red area up top. Towards, uh -huh. like, the right. Towards the right. Tiles, maybe, I think it's called. I like to play undo tiles. Hmm. So down here, and then I rotate up occasionally. Oh, interesting. As flank. Yeah, I mean, the the flank, the, the opposing flank does sometimes play through here. So that's, like, that's okay. Um, oh, yeah. But um, 
essentially my idea is that playing through here, uh, if their combo is going to rotate through the right here and they come through, you're, they're going to take your entire combo by surprise and just wipe you out, essentially. That's happened okay. to me a number of times. I mean, so if heavy you as can playing call that. Able, heavy can, heavy call. can, but like by the time that the call is made, they're already through the window. That's so. fair. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming this is all standard for first. Yeah. Oh, pushers were pretty good here. I, I feel it's just we didn't have enough time to get to the end. Mm -hmm. So you got rolled pretty hard. Yeah, I mean this is fine as an angle. I use it sometimes, but again, like you're you're going to be staring at like five combo members if you come out here. So I prefer to have some sort of cover to to help me out. So your combo, I, I always bring my combo in through the tunnel to help clear out their flank and give essentially guarantee the cart time. What I was doing these films is I as heavy was just sitting on cart and having my mm -hmm. combo sit in the apartments. It seemed to be working pretty well. No single heavy uh, seemed to be rolling it pretty hard. Yeah. The thing is that because you are heavy, you're I'm super slow. slow. Yes. So like getting back to the combo is going to take a while. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I just I like to have the combo have basically the entire combo in here to um, obviously to clear the tunnel and potentially get some picks. If you can like wipe out their flank with your combo, then your flank has side tunnel for free, and then they can just spam the gun for you. Uh, so this Uber exchange goes off, and yeah, I mean. So a lot of teams like to use flog in here. Um, yeah, we do like too. It. Our pilot is just a ringer though, so they, mm -hmm. they don't right. know that we like doing that. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I uh, having the flog pyro go in prior to the Uber, like maybe, I don't know, five seconds before you're planning on going in Ubering. I think that that's really helpful. Uh, obviously, it gets a lot of damage out, potentially forces them, so your Uber's going to be coming in right when their Uber's starting to fade. What my team um, normally does when we have a Flog Pyro with us is we Uber the Flog Pyro in instead. Hmm. Is it better uh, to have the Flog Pyro going first, or what? Uh, I think it's really kind of a personal preference thing. Uh, uh, I, I think that they're both viable, but I, I think that the potential... Um, potential value essentially is greater having your um, your flog pyro go yeah. in prior to the Uber. Yeah. Because again, sense. like if, if you can get yeah, if you force the, the Uber out first, then yeah, like you can just walk out here with the rest of your Uber and destroy the gun. Okay. That kind of thing. Yeah, that's something I'll definitely try then. So I think the the way to do that would be you have your demo get aggro, spam them out to make space for the flog pyro, and then the flog pyro goes. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you guys are doing pretty well. It seemed like you were able to just like do good dry aggression after the Uber, which is uh, very valuable for any team. Using through here is fine. I personally hate Ubering through here because like there's just so many places where stickies can be hidden. Do you go through so apartments? I I personally like to go through main. Oh, you just main it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's just my preference because it is it's so much more open and i can see everything yeah you're gonna you be a little bit ground. further away yeah, yeah you're gonna be lower but like as demo it doesn't really matter because all your stuff arcs that's fair and uh you are also going to be a little bit further away but it's not that big a deal in my opinion it messes um, with heavy though like yeah, heavy post but, would be pretty bad uh, i don't know i mean like Having the post Uber heavy just like behind the cart. Oh yeah, behind cart is pretty good. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's it's not not bad in my opinion. Um, and again, like you know, when you're exchanging, the whole point of the exchange is literally just to get the Ubers out of the way and get the gun down. So like, there you really only need your demo and maybe one other person, like your scout or your pyro or something, in the Uber. So everyone else can kind of just hang back, push the cart get some dry aggression passively 
and then that's when everyone you know in the post uber is when everyone else comes in yeah okay so they you know i think just due to time they're like you know they're not going to push in 30 seconds um I, don't know, I feel like if we had three X on cart, we might have been able to get it, assuming we were able to go forth. Mm. We had two X on cart for a long time. Uh huh. But oh well, it is what it is. Given yeah. that we got the th uh, fourth in four minutes, that's pretty good. Did you guys push uh, fourth and last in the other demo? Yes, we actually won the other one. Mm, okay. Our, we, our scout was a ringer. He carried pretty hard that first round, but. We did still win it, so. Gotcha. Do you want to look through this entire one, or should we like skip to any specific parts? If you have time I, to do okay the entire thing, that's fine with me. Okay, sure, that's fine. Oh, and you guys are on offense too, so that's perfect. Yeah. I feel like we were having, on second, we were having similar problems uh, with the demo being aggressive and mm. the pyro being too passive to stuff Ubers. Mm. I guess for, for, or for defense? When we were on defense, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a, you know, learning how to spam as demo to, to give your, the rest of your team space, essentially. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, one th I th don't think I asked this before. When you're demo on second and you're playing on the, the ground like that, like you said, too, uh, how uh -huh. do you know when to dead stickies? Do you have someone watching them for you? Or do you just try to blind dead them? Or what do you do? I I really keep them for the post, actually. I uh -huh. just leave them there. And yeah, then, you know, I, I'm backing away. I'm playing here in the corner and I'm just, like, running away mm -hmm. during the Uber. But for the post, like now I'm starting to come up the stairs, and now like they're starting to come or starting to leave through the shutter. Yeah, and you that, can catch them out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. But uh, in for the, that's good for the Uber. But uh, stickies can also catch people out pretty good if they're being uh, stupid and peeking the shutter. Mm -hmm. Do you try to dead them yeah. for that too? Oh, because you can't see them for that still. Uh, every once in a while I do peek. Uh. I'll check from the stairs, but uh, I, I'm I'm basically relying on the rest of the team to call, like you know, oh the sniper's peeking the the shutter or something like that. Otherwise, I'm paying I'm playing fairly passively in the back. So you guys know about you know the the spy play of using enforcer from here, right? I don't actually think we do. So if your spy is running Enforcer, he can, like, jump his way over onto this thing. And basically he's got, like, this angle here. So he can use this window. To delete and, the gun. Yeah, just delete the gun and, you know, time it with your soldier from side tunnel. And it's mm -hmm. basically guaranteed. 2,000 IQ plays. <laughs> so, yeah, now your, your flank should let you know, like, once the cart has reached this opening... This yeah, I uh, uh, again, I was in the tunnel with him, so I did actually know where it was. Mm -hmm. so I think our combo like just you, died. I think yeah, you guys had died. an exchange, but didn't... I mean, looks like you got the gun, but nothing really... Our flank got either. the gun, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, again, like, in this in this dead time, I would not have returned here to apartments. I would have rotated the combo back out uh, through here into main um the idea is that like playing here without an uber is basically pointless. nothing's it's yeah. nothing's gonna happen here like okay yeah, i mean your your pyro's gonna die like like you might be able to get a couple pipes in on them but it's nothing it's not going to convert into a kill because you can't really clean up the damage yeah okay um, so if you play from here you have a, a chance of getting the gun down you have a chance of maybe getting some sort of pick out here and if the gun is able to go down then you just start pushing from here you, okay. you don't have to worry about apartments at that point yeah, yeah. You, you can take your uber in from here if like, essentially what's happens is like if you're able you to start nine manning down, cart yeah yeah you're, you're nine manning cart you're waiting for them to uber into you it's it's a role reversal yeah yeah uh because once the gun goes down you can nine man it and they have to drop down to contest you pretty much right exactly oh yeah
Um, so again, like as demo, um, if you're able to roll them like what happened here, your demo should probably be trying to spawn camp them. Um, I think okay. the ideal place is like jumping up to here and then like camping this this angle essentially. Oh uh, yeah, trapping that area. locking them off from platform mm -hmm. pretty much. So now, now it forces them to come out through this right side, which yeah. is a little bit worse because they and can't they actually have low ground. hit you. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, and okay. then you can see them, of course. So. Uh, you guys have got some good pressure here in IT. Uh, just seems like doesn't really seem like any sort of coordinated push though. Oh, but you're just ready for Uber. That's cool. Yeah, I mean this is all fine. Um. You used a little bit early, but like again, I would be paranoid using in here too because again, there's just so many angles. Yeah. Um, we didn't really have any post Ubu follow up though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it looked like your comp your your flank was not really in position um, for the post, and the rest of your combo was also like just seemed like they were a little bit further behind than the demo. So. I think that's just like you guys need to wait until everyone's in position wait the extra five seconds yeah this is good sticky spam and there's no gun up okay yeah so they're just giving it up that's fine so you don't have uber they do the conventional wisdom would be to sack in, right? But like, because this is so tricky, because this gun is like in the perfect position to deny bombers. Every time I've run a sack, it's always failed on this point. I don't know, maybe some other higher level player can give you insight, but I, I can't figure out a way to sack on this point. This is such a tight choke. The sniper is going to watch you, and then obviously that the heavy's right there, and they're all hiding behind this big shield. So it's just uh, not really that good. So yeah, you're waiting for Uber. You have Uber now, so you should be like calling. Okay, we're getting ready. It yeah, like I think we are right. here. Nice. Oh, this is perfect, actually. Your scout. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I well, mean, I'm I mean, still here mowing, damage. so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, your your demo got good damage, and you're cleaning it up, so that's pretty good. So now that you know that everything's, you know, the sentry's down, you're able to get them out. Yeah, perfect. Basically, as heavy, you're just like sitting right here. You just head glitch over this thing. They can't leave. Uh, if you're having problems pushing this point. Um, ideally, you want to try to take an Uber exchange once the cart is like around here, around halfway or something, and then you Uber around this rock. Because if you Uber in from the side, it's, there's a very good chance you're going to get stuffed by the pyro in this corner. Okay. Um, I don't actually think I've point... ever had problems pushing this point, though. We always seem to roll it pretty easily. Yeah, I mean, that, that happens a lot cause, because of third, the, the nature of third. Like, uh, people. Yeah. Are, yeah, people are like, oh, well, we, we stood in so long on second, we, we can defend third, and then they just get destroyed, and then it's like, oh, well, we can defend fourth, but because they got rolled on third, it yeah. turns into a snowball again, so. Okay. I feel like this is very crowded in here. Yeah, it's a little too crowded in here. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, obviously you're going to be contending with the head glitch heavy over here. Um, having your heavy try to heavy duel is fine. Um, your sniper, I mean, there, there's a lot of different angles for your sniper to, to hit from. Um, yeah, so uh, I feel like this is actually like a very important point for sniper because... Uh, Again, because it is so cramped, uh, any any sort of big pick is going to make a huge difference in here. Um, oh, okay. Well, you guys are able to do it with dry aggression anyway. 
Yeah, I'll but... Uber just uh, pushed up here, distracted him, and then our flank got the mm -hmm. guard, I think is what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, so it, it looks like you guys were, were suffering some from something that my team also had a problem with, was, like, coming into this area, and then, like, you just kind of wait. But because there's so many ways that people come at, can come at you, literally, you're from every direction. Uh, I I don't think I don't think it's very safe for the combo to be here. Yeah, yeah I think it's our a lot dies better a lot for, in here. So back there, you're yeah. saying is better. Yeah, back here is a lot better. You you control this door. You have two very good tight doors that you can yes. defend essentially, and yes. and the back is is also easily defendable. So. Okay. Yes, this makes sense. That's yeah. yeah. It's something we should definitely do. Mm. And yeah, I mean Ubering, Ubering top left. I think is is probably the best. Um, like. I, I would prefer to Uber through here, but it's it's so difficult to push through here because everything is watching you. Yeah. But in in a perfect world, like if you're able to get the gun down, then I would I would say Uber through main. Really. What I like to do is I like to just get control of high ground, put my combo up there, and then mm -hmm. cover the flank while they go in. Yeah. No, I mean that's fair too. If you're able to exploit any sort of weakness in the other team, then by all means do it, even if it's not like textbook. Doritos lives. I know. Look at that. So. Yeah, sniper here is fine because you can get tanked. Um. I think Callie from our team has had fairly good success playing from up here, at least at the very beginning, uh, and then like rotating back into the tunnel. Hmm. Live. Nice. So. Um, the two most common med spots are like, yeah, exactly where where Roma was and where Roma is now. Um, I think that this is the safer spot. Uh, there's very few things that can get you. If for some reason there's a spy who knows how to use a gun, they can probably easily delete you from just decloaking and killing you from here. But beyond that, you're pretty safe. And Spies especially don't have guns. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, the problem there then isn't it kind of hard to Uber your pyro to stuff them though. Yeah, well, I I would think that you have like a sniper or a heavy or something that's watching here, and then your pyro should probably be like playing on the right side or the left side of the door. So one of those people is going to be able to call and like let your medic know to come up and Uber in. So you as medic are just totally reliant on the rest of your team making that call. Okay. So yeah, it, it seemed like the call didn't come through quick enough and they were able to just Uber in and not get stuffed. Yeah. Nice. I don't like having the sniper play here. Uh, cause if he is playing here, uh, it just, yeah, as you can see here, it's ma it's making the life of the demo a lot harder cause they're sending a shit ton of spam out this way. And if it hits you or the sniper, it's going to hit both of you. Yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, while we're just waiting for stuff to happen, one thing as heavy, the other the other team was doing it a lot here. So if you walk to where the gun is real fast, mm -hmm. uh, once they Ubered in with their heavy, once we Ubered in, what their heavy would do is he would jump around into that window behind us. This one? Yes. Oh. What are your okay. thoughts on that? In terms, of, so they're pushing and their heavy is jumping through this window. No, uh, we pushed into them. They were on defense, oh. uh -huh. and while we were Ubered in, their heavy jumped behind us. Ah, uh, okay, okay. 
Yeah, I mean, that's if you can do that as heavy, I would say definitely go for it. Oh, yeah. um, it's very difficult to do for heavies. Again, the jump? Just like, yeah, the, the jump. jump's really easy. I have seen a lot of heavies just completely fail it. I was, but we scrimmed maybe... IBB after this. I was able to do it pretty easily. Hmm. Okay. Well, if yeah. you've got a good platforming heavy, then by all means, I'd, I'd say go for it. Because like, they're, they're not going to be looking for it. Oh, yeah. I just feel like and... if I do that, the, the heavy watching the doll will delete me. Uh, well, I mean, if they actually have a he heavy watching the door, uh, even in IM, it's extremely common for heavies to just be Wing and not holding the door and everyone gets caught, that kind of thing. Huh. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, like, if you're playing against a competent team, then obviously that's not going to work. But any any sort of normal team, I suspect, is not going to be, their, their heavy is not going to be that reliable. Oh, okay. yeah. Interesting. Hey, what do you think of that oh. gun spot, by the way? This is a very weird gun spot. I don't think I've seen that uh, ever. Have I? I don't know. Maybe once. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was playing around with it before, and I think I found a better spot if you move it back slightly. That way you don't have to be in the room and I can take it. Uh huh. Yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, obviously, it's going to just completely annihilate anything on the cart um i feel like it's kind of susceptible to spam from a demo over here i mean yeah i mean even from here i mean if you just put down stickies that's going to get the get the gun too so when we're playing on third we try to play in red room there mm -hmm. like actually in it which means we can generally walk out the combo from the like what's happening here they're stuck coming through apartments mm-hmm mm -hmm. Uh, so, if that's the case, the gun's a bit hard to spam. But uh, yeah, I definitely yeah. feel like if we don't have the demo heavy in red room, it becomes very difficult for the gun to stay mm. up. Yeah. I I know that Flair was saying that holding in here is is a good thing. I personally disagree, but I, I think it really depends on like. Um, depends on what combo members you have it, it really depends on like is everyone alive basically yeah you need, you this need, is definitely need aggro. entire team yeah this is definitely aggro. Yeah. but like and, later uh, and also it's like it, if you're able even if you're able to hold this like all they need to do is just walk around and go through main uh and, if they go through main you now, can like, shoot them through these two windows though the you two can windows. you can shoot them through that window but like your entire team is going to be shooting through that window so all their demo has to do is pipe you and then like it's 500 damage that's fair so it's uh I think it's a double edged sword. It's it's very aggro on this point, so again, like they just shift and walk around you. Yeah. Uh, but okay. again, that's my opinion. I guess it would work best then at the start of the uh if you leave second early enough, you can hold in mm -hmm. red room while they don't have cart time and your combo's alive. Mm-hmm. And then once they have the car getting close, then you might want to rotate out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, the standard hold on this platform, I think, is perfectly fine. Holding down here and under is also actually quite good. Really? I've never seen yeah, that. I mean, yeah, if you... Actually, got I've, gun... I've seen it in casual, but never in actual Highlander. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's definitely very viable. Having your gun here, or actually having your gun, like, right here, uh, is, is quite good. Um, huh. and like, obviously you're giving up red room essentially, and you're yeah. kind of giving up the platform, yeah. but you have total control of the, of the cart path. So I feel like it's really easy for the other team to walk into the high ground and just delete you though. Uh, in, in like, you know, in a vacuum. Yeah, it is. But, uh, if you've got a competent demo, who's like able to spam out the, the window, from that angle, from below, uh, yeah, then oh, yeah. it's it just totally denies them again because like everyone's looking through this window. Yeah. So. But, I mean, they can spread out on the platform, can't they? We're stopping them from they could, the platform. They could, but again, that's assuming that they haven't turned their lizard brain off. You know. That's so. fair. Lizard brain is definitely a thing. <laughs> it's it's very dangerous. So, uh, yeah. Again, I I think this gun spot's pretty good. 
but it seems like, well, actually, you know what? We were just kind of going off on a tangent. We'll actually look at this last point okay. if I can. So now I want to let you. Oh, is it the numlock key? Oh, okay. Yeah, so again, like any time that you've like got your team wiped, whatever the next point is, you have to hold it passive. Because, yeah. yeah, as you see, like, otherwise it's you very feed. easy. Otherwise you feed and mm -hmm. die. Yeah, the snowball is very likely. Yeah, okay. I'll definitely need okay. to be better and more, pro more, bleh, more proactive about screaming at people not to feed. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they come in left side. Oh, here. wow. This is a super aggro Uber. They actually got deleted. Well, yeah, hard. I mean, they, yeah, they need the time, though, so. Yeah, again, so, like, they're, they're able to come through here because your flank does not have control. Again, because, like, huh. in this case, because your flank was dead, but. If you're able to have a flank there to deny them or just even call that they're there. Yeah. It's very I think what I might ask my team to do is have Soldier play in there and then let the scout do scout things. Because, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. as as scout, I, I, the room just looks like a death trap. I, mean, I look at that hallway and I think <laughs> death by Soldier. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to play in there as scout. Yeah, I think, I think that's very. Oh, okay. Yeah, they failed to push. I sat on count and we won. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, because there wasn't really any sort of last push or last defense. Uh, Actually, no, they, they, there was a last push. They tried to use him through left side, but both of yeah. them you bombed him. Bounced him. Yeah, but it's, like, it's not like a normal push. Like that's it's, fair. it's a desperation push. So, yeah, okay, that's fair. Like, nor normally, you, I, it's very rare to, to get Ubered from the right side, in, in my experience. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it before either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's really it's really kind of like a last resort kind of push. Uh, it's really like after the left side has failed and maybe main tracks has failed, then you'd consider going to the right. At least in, in in my you know check down list. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. I definitely do like they... the uh, the left side more with platform because mm -hmm. the the demo gets the gun. The heavy plays in window for post. It's mm -hmm. just uh, yeah. You're you're able to get a lot more um, effective focus fire, and your team is a lot closer together, um, and you've got a a better line on on the gun and and the rest of the combo. Whereas coming from the right, like it's a surprise, so you have that going for you. But like that's about it. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to get stuffed, and um, there's that big open area um, that you Just have to cross. Super. So yeah, yeah. So it's like, well, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, do you have any other questions in general for Swiftwater? Let me think if I have anything. No, I don't. I think we covered everything that uh, was brought up in that scrim that I thought we were doing okay. wrong or needed corrected. Okay, yeah. Well, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Yeah, okay. Thanks.